I'm Connor McCready. I am a conceptual artist and I think it is crucial to be proactive. When did I pick up my first paintbrush? My first paintbrush was my mother's makeup, like a powder brush. I took it, I was six years old, and I still remember this, and my mother has a photograph of me crushing coffee in the kitchen in Johannesburg and taking the makeup brush with water and just, it, it actually looked like a treasure map. That was my first, that was the first time I picked up a, a paintbrush. Africa is where my heart will always be, especially Botswana and this rich dust and this fantastic um, experience, you know, being out in an open Land Rover and smelling the wildlife and seeing the wildlife and, and hearing the wildlife. And then you come to New York City and have this concrete jungle. And there's some wildlife here too, believe it or not. Um, but it's fascinating to take the two places and pull this different inspiration and try and balance it into one creative concept. I moved to New York and uh, I actually didn't know anybody in the city. So I went on my own to Union Square and I set up a booth right next to a friend of mine from Ghana and that's where I started selling my work. And it was, it was fun, you know, you could get by. And then you just built up your group of friends you know, and you learn the hard way. You don't have a team, you don't have friends. And I was fortunate enough to build that myself and to judge it for myself. And I learned the hard way of who to trust and who not to. And I think it was the greatest experience I've ever had in my life and I would never change it. Whatever you want to do, it can be done, but it's gonna take a lot of hustling, a lot of hard work. Education is very, very important. I don't necessarily believe that one has to be in the um, controlled area of a university I think it's good to go there and to try it out, but it's not necessarily for everybody. It never worked for me. You know, those two words, proactive and hustle, are the two words that stick with me still to this day. Like, they are ingrained in me, and that is what I live by. Saturdays were the days where every single tourist would want to come through the Union Square Park. And in order to sell a piece, or to get your work out there in front of people, you would have to stay out Friday night to save a spot. You know not going to sleep or not going to watch a movie with a group of friends who want to see a great new film that's come out because you're actually researching something that's so important so that if you understand what's happened tomorrow you're going to create something because you've done this research whereas if you go to a film or you want to be with a group of friends or you want to be doing these fun things you're not really hustling you're chilling you're taking it easy there's no drive action is a foundational key to success hands down you know, we are living in 2012 and we have to accept that technology is a huge player in this world that we're living in. And I think that using it the right way is very important because especially social media, it's a big platform and it's open to everybody. So everybody can say whatever they want. So you have to channel it in the right direction. I mean, I never will say, okay, I'm having a coffee. I'm gonna go and take a, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and shave. I don't get that. But I think I try and utilize my Twitter as much as I can to put the right message out there in order to generate a following and in order to uh, be taken seriously, you know.